Okay, I just recorded a minute ago and the battery died and I don't know because I can't see the screen whether it's corrupt or not. So I'll start again. It's Saturday the 26th of October and according to the Fear Box, that's the television for any of you who don't watch me regularly, um, there's this massive storm going to be hitting the United Kingdom, you know, 100 mile an hour winds. Um, I'll still be delivering mail on Monday in them 100 mile an hour winds. Can't go out in that much snow, whole country chances to stand still, and I'm not allowed out for health and safety reasons, but I'll be allowed out in 100 mile an hour winds. Anyway, this massive storm, everyone's talking about this massive storm. Um, also, a lot of people have been saying to me, God, it's so warm, it's so warm, it's so warm, why is it so warm? It shouldn't be this warm. Okay, 19, 20 degrees on the 26th of fucking October, and most of the fucking leaves still on the tree that are green is quite weird. Mm. People are still flowering tomatoes and stuff like that. They're green, they're turning red, you know. <coughs> there is a reason for that. There's a combination of all different things, but the main reason is the sun. Now, up until yesterday morning, the sun had had this group of sunspots that had a lot of M-class flares, um, or the equivalents too, and they're all expected to hit, well, they're expected to hit today, and so far they haven't, but they are expected to hit um, quite earth-directed. Um, then yesterday there was a, I think it was a 1.7, X 1.7, then an X 2.1, and then this morning we had another X 2.3. So we've had three X class flares from this massive sunspot that's turning into Earth facing direction. I think we're going to get a, a swooping sweep of that, um, them X class flares. But we've already had a 7.9, I think 7.9 or 7.6 in Japan, um, which is called, it's caused a tsunami, which is not very, um, it's not very uh, reassuring, considering what's going on with Fukushima, and they actually evacuated that when they, they heard about this tsunami coming their way, it's all a bit fucked up, but the, the big sunspot that's at the bottom, it's in the southern hemisphere of the, of the sun, is likely to affect the southern hemisphere of Earth, there's a lot of shit hitting our ionosphere right now, um, it's very warm, um, you can tell by the clouds, when you look at the clouds, the clouds look squished, they're as if they're being blown away by the solar winds, the cosmic rays aren't allowing the clouds to form, but it's all a bit, mm, you know, and it depends on what kind of weather phenomenon, whether you've got low pressure or high pressure, when this shit hits, what it causes, it could cause electrical storms, it could cause tornadoes, it could cause a really hot day, look at that, the sun's come out. <laughs> As I say that, um, it, you know, but the sun it seems to have flipped by the sounds of it, you know, it, nine CMEs in the face, base of about like, you know, um, 48 to 76 hours is quite substantial and Solar Ham, um, one of the channels that I look at, um, have changed it from minor solar activity to moderate solar activity so I, I'm quite happy to say that I think the sun is finally going into solar maximum which will cause us to have an Indian summer and everything else but everyone is noticing how warm it is and they go oh but this doesn't happen it must be global warming no no it's not global warming okay um <clears throat> They've been spraying a lot recently as well. I've noticed they've been spraying over the last few days, and because a load of shit's about to hit our magnetic, um, our magnetic uh, field, which is weakening, um, you know, I think part of their spray um, is is to protect us from shit that's hitting the ionosphere, as well as obviously Agenda Twenty One and all the other things. There is experiments going on. They do play about with it. I just wish they'd fucking admit it. Um, what else? Is there anything else I needed to report? I think that's it. So yeah, earthquakes, sun, sun activity, warm, um, just, you know, anything strange just happens over the next 48 hours, it's probably sun related. But um, keep your eye out on um, solarham.net um, and um, there's a few other places. I'll put some links in this video below if you don't know. I'm sure, you know, the best person to watch really is Suspicious Observer when it comes to sun activity. He's really, really cool. And he kind of um, sums it all up in whatever else. Fuck me, I'll tell you what, the bruise that I got. I'll show you my bruise, right? I don't know if you're going to be able to see it properly. See it? Can you see it? That's my bruise that's left. That was a week ago I got that bruise. And then I'm wondering why my ribs are hurting. Wow, I've not had a bruise that multicoloured for, for years. 
is. There's one on that. No, there isn't one on that side. Yeah, look, look that's well multicoloured. I bruised my ribs, and then women's things happened, so it kind of super enhanced the pain on the left hand side of my my um, torso as well as obviously stabbing period pains it was really really good but when, when I done it the next day I couldn't sleep I couldn't sleep on either side it was just like like my knee was leaning against something that caused it to hurt and then I couldn't lay on that side because my ribs were hurting oh, I was fucked up it's, you know at 40 years old don't go fucking down a dirt track as if you're 20 jumping into the air into six foot into the air and wondering why you don't land and when you do land wrongly or you know I actually was quite successful in my landing, to be fair, because um, I'm used to coming off bikes and doing shit like that as a kid. I was quite successful in my landing. I'm lucky I didn't break any bones. Anyone else would have done. I managed not to. I've got strong bones, but fucking makes you feel your age. At 40, you certainly don't repair in the same way you did when you were 30, even. Yeah, so peace, love, and light. Better go now. Gone on for a bit. Washing machine in the background. Sorry about that. Seems to be a theme, that does. I'm washing my clothes from work. Theme. Anyone in America, if you don't know what that is, that's a front-loading European washing machine. Okay, it's normal. Okay, yeah, twin loaders like you have are probably better machines. And to be fair, it makes more sense. Why would you put something that, you know? Can you imagine the stress to make the device that holds that drum outward like that? It's easier just to have a top loader like we used to have. Less moving parts, less stress on the engine, less everything. But oh no, you know why we've got washing machines like that? It's so all to do with space, okay? All to do with space. In the United Kingdom, our houses are a quarter of the size of the standard American house. If you lived in a four-bedroom house in America, a four-bedroom house in England would be about a quarter of the size, okay? Because we haven't got the land. So we haven't got room to have a fucking laundry room and top loaders. I can't, I need that surface at the top. I can't, I can't be without that surface, so we have to have side loaders, and that's the reason why. Okay, I'm going now because I'm babbling. Peace, love, and light.